So yeah, we're at the Frothing Flame. Thing. I'm joined by David from Speyside. Speyside, Broughton and Elkimi Breweries. So we're a small group of three breweries. Excellent. So uh, what are those three breweries? Because they're, they're all favourites. <laughs> yeah, so um, we amalgamated as an organisation just under a year ago and um, we still run the three breweries very, very autonomously. Uh, each has their own head brewer, each has their own distinctive style. Um, and then as a commercial organisation, we look to um, we consolidate, you know, leverage our uh, assets um, in different ways behind the scenes. So it's all very much individual breweries. And Broughton is uh, founded in 1979. A uh, relatively traditional brewer, um, first uh, independent craft brewery in Scotland. Uh, the time it was founded, it's got a lovely backstory, probably another broken backstory uh, better than the others. But um, at the time when it opened, there was lots of uh, closures going on within the brewing world, particularly worldwide across Scotland. And Broughton opened in 1979, which, if you're a music fan, was just at the kind of tail end of the punk movement. And uh, although the, uh, the younger family who opened it are quite, um, you wouldn't describe them as, as street punks, <laughs> but they were actually sort of punks in their own way because they reversed the train, they did something that was against the grain, pardon the pun, and uh, they opened a brewery at a time when lots of others were, were closing. So that's the first brewery in a gripper. second one is Spey Valley, which is uh, based up in uh, Speyside, and it's got a lovely story. It was uh, David, who's one of my colleagues, who uh, founded it uh, just 10 years ago, and um, at the time that uh, he founded it, we were very much pushing on um, the, the whole space side opportunity and uh, the way that we the way I describe it to people is that um, you know if you tried a whiskey from space side now's a chance to try a beer from space side so whiskey is about a, a snow plow um, so that's the, uh, the, the Spey Valley Brewery and um, it's style of beer, um, there's some fun beers, uh, Space Cadet which is an IPA but we've also got a number of really really nice uh, barrel aged um, beers and what we do with them is that we put the coordinates of the, um, the distillery that the cask came from on the bottle um, so it gives quite a unique angle, quite a unique selling story. Um, it took me a while to figure it out because <laughs> latitudes and longitudes <laughs> are, are not my, my, uh, my, my forty. And um, we then have the Alchemy Brewery, which is in Livingston, and uh, that was uh, founded in 2013 and um, established a really nice reputation in Edinburgh uh, and uh, Central Bell and uh, brewing uh, slightly different, slightly edgy uh, cask beers and um, in the last uh, few months we are doing a little bit with collaboration so we've got this beer here which is a collaboration cheers everybody which cheers. is a collaboration with uh, Simple Things Fermentation and uh, they're a Glasgow based brewery and there was a kind of home and, a, home and away leg to the collaboration and um, we uh, brewed this one it's a 70 shilling sort of bottom end of a Scottish heavy style beer uh, 3.7%. It's got a wee bit of coriander yeah, in it. I don't know if you want to There's a lot going on there. Do you taste the so coriander? You can definitely smell it. Right? Uh -huh. yeah, yeah. So, so the, Anne could probably tell you a bit more, so colleague Anne, um, but the customer reaction to this has just been brilliant. It's been brilliant. This is our second collaboration this year. 
first collaboration we did with Utu Garam, it was a nice bag of nice rum cast mm -hmm. uh, aged dark ale, um, and then, as David said, the seven to shilling with some plant fermentation, and again, two days, with just limited editions, with 30 casts first time, with M the Matuga Rum DMC, and 40 with uh, some plant fermentation, and we sold out in two days. It's just that appetite for something that we be different, and that people have not seen before yeah, and just a limited edition seems to really trend at the moment that if you, you know they know that it's only going to be well, I certainly didn't realize those collaborations were going on and we talk about quite a lot our, our local um, is where we probably get the most exposure to craft beer. Yes. Um, commercial and the firm, and we'll, we'll, we will um, certainly have um, charisma, but alchemy is a personal favourite. Um, obviously, in lots of space in the brewery, as well. And just the idea that um, like, space is space like, a, a, a brewery I, I've got a lot of time for. Um, so, we're alchemy, so the idea that like, the, the breweries and our breweries like them are, are, are working together is. is as a consumer is really, really exciting. And there, there's quite a lot of um, interesting opportunities that um, we, we are looking at in the next few months. So you're probably aware of the uh, UCI Bike Festival, which is going to be in Scotland in, in I think it's August, and uh, we're going to do a special beer for that uh, because it's, there's a lot of stuff going to be around Glenn Dress. Yeah. So we've got a beer lined up called On Your Bike, um, originally named. <laughs> and um, we also have um, a couple of other uh, interesting things. We've got one which is a guava and blood orange IPA. And, and um, we, we can try that. That's a different uh, story. Of that. Um, and I, I think we're going to call that Guava Lava Ding Dong. But we're still working on the title for it. I think that's the nice thing about having the three different breweries working together. You can do such different beers and mm. different styles, like the Guava Lava Lava Dingo, the Rum DMCs, etc. fit really nice with the Naomi brand. Whereas the more traditional instances we found, especially for the festival season down south, if they were having a particular Scottish area, they could get three completely separate brands from you know, one, one source. Yeah. One source. Yeah. But we can have a lot of fun with it as well because if we just each pub has like your friends regular can take the two different brands, but there's certain ones that are maybe a younger funkier brand for some better. Some others it's a really nice traditional and when especially when we're doing the collaborations or the limited editions, we can have a lot of different fun with it in different styles and have your different shine in different areas. That's quite interesting. So is that is that something that can happen when you're mentioning there sort of like, sort of um, Tradition, like the more traditional brewery, and then the more sort of let's try something random like Guava Brewery. Um, but within those three, within those like breweries, is, is there a lot of like I'm going along to Alchemy for the day to, to pick up some things? And, the, the brewers do swap, yeah. they do swap, and they get to they pick up a lot of different things and stuff from each other yeah. in a lot of different styles. Because we have Bee and Derek Broughton with a very traditional Bee and Derek and Bee and Derek and I think the tracks for them can make them down and down from Spray Valley. Just have a different tracks. It's been really good fun. Yeah. It's been really good fun. And we've all, we've all learned uh, on the on the journey, so um, that that's been fun. And you know, I think most people who, like just about everybody who works for our business, is really passionate about beer. Yeah. So um, you know, we're, we're a commercial organisation, you know, but um, I think if you're able to. Uh, you know, work in an environment that you like and it's about fun and you know, I always say to people that um, you know, I, I never made it as a football and I never made it as a Formula One driver. I didn't get the gig as a guitarist in the clash, but I get to be involved in creating beers and people try them and enjoy them, so... Um, Best of all. Yeah, I think in hindsight, I don't know who, I, what, who, who, who my hero is in this situation. Well, I'm still the clash one, still, you know. <laughs> could happen, man, it could happen. Um, I won't keep you because obviously there's folk coming no, in. No, no. 
what in? So obviously, th this is this is quite a big day for you guys. But what's what's coming up? Yeah, well, tonight's just a bit of fun. Tonight's just to um, invite one or two of um, people people in the trade who maybe uh, don't know our beers or don't know that much about our organisation. Just a chance for them to come along, try some of our different beers. Very very informal, um, and uh, we're going to repeat this. So what have we got coming up in the sort of short term? We have got more collaboration brews. Uh, we're going to be uh, giving uh, Beer Space Cadet a big push around the fringe. Um, there's a lot of Space Cadets in Edinburgh Fringe. <laughs> so, um, we're going to bring a, we're going to have a few more. Um, we've got our new Space Side Lager, which uh, we, we kind of softly launched a few months ago, and we've just started to put that into one or two pubs. We've got some export orders for it as well. It's going to Italy in a couple of weeks. And um, behind the scenes, uh, we've been working on the gin, which is uh, nice. Um, Hans probably could tell you more about the gin than I could, because I'm not an expert in that area. And we've got one or two other sort of new and different ideas. And um, you know, we just want to uh, keep pushing. Um, one of the nice things about the way our brewery works now is that Broughton was very strong on bottled beers and cask beers, and the other alchemy was reasonably strong in cask, a bit of keg, and some uh, sort of smaller bottles, and the Spey Valley Brewery was mostly keg and small bottles, so there's virtually no crossover between what we do, so the, some of the kegs that have been brewed at Spey Valley, we've been able to introduce those to what were cask customers, and some of the keg customers were able to introduce cask food, so that's been really nice, and everybody's been pretty positive about it, so it's pretty cool that, it, 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 from what you guys are saying, there's some kind of proper like, collaboration as well, isn't it? Yeah. Like, equal partnership and yeah. like, like, sharing resources. It's quite sweet, it's scary in the beginning. Uh, you know, you just thought, how is this going to work? How is it going to essentially be trying to sell the same thing? And then just a couple of months in, you know, how is this actually there's three completely different brands, three completely different identities, and it, they actually sit together really, really well. It's been, it's been really good. It's that shared vision, isn't it? It's like, well, you all want the same thing, regardless of identity. It's always the same it's thing. It's always really important. Shared vision, yeah. yeah. <laughs> Well, that is. It's always really important. No, but well, the, 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 the vision is about beer. The vision yeah, is exactly. about beer. The vision. And, you know, what, one of the things I like is, um, on a personal level, that I've done a little bit of research on the history of brewing in Scotland. And um, if you went back 100 years ago, I think there was about 40 breweries in Edinburgh alone, and there was about 100 in Scotland, and then it, it sort of died down, and um, now, you know, you've got a resurgence. It's very challenging at the moment, commercially, with the, the economy, but you're back to having um, lots and lots of different breweries, and, you know, the, one of the big things for me is that you might not like a particular beer or a particular brewery, but there is now a beer for, you know, whatever your, your particular style is, and I think that's great, you know, not only just drinking sort of fizzy liquid, it's a light golden colour that's get you know, an American or a Spanish or a French joke surrounding it, so, you know, it's real authentic and rude, so, um, I think that's really good to see, and it's, it's an important part of the economy as well, um, you know, because breweries are, you know, relatively high value, you know, when you set up a brewery, you need to, you know, join us, plumbers, fitters, electricians, so, there's a lot of uh, good things that go into the economy, so, you know, we're, as, as an organisation, we're never afraid to sort of, you know, um, you know, put the message out, you know, to, to um, politicians and such like the importance of brewing and the importance of creating conditions that help them, that we choice and you know help organisations like us to be successful and grow. But certainly, like you know, with politicians particularly, that's something that we've noticed. We've got a couple of our listeners, Neil um, Bailey, who's a, a, one of our good friends actually. He's also um, he's a councillor up in Aberdeenshire. Mm -hmm. and that's something that he's always talking about. He's like, he's really passionate about. It. He's, like, he's, he's from a corner of the world. So he's not too far away from 
the Great Sea Valley and, and, and the whiskey trade so he's, he understands the importance that these things have to our, to our identity, to our economy, to our culture. You know, so. it, it would be wonderful in 25 years if we had um, you know, a, a beer trail the way that you have the, the whiskey trail. There's a little bit of it, but you know, it's a bit, it's got a long way to go. It's a great, it's a great marketing opportunity. Let's work on that, guys. That sounds good. <laughs> right. uh, yeah, we, we, we'll leave you to so they're very busy here. It's, it's only speaking to you. Yeah, I could thank you. I would hold you here all night if I could, but I was excited to go and say something to do. Thanks so much. Thank you. Cheers, guys. Thank you.